guys welcome back to my channel um for those who don't know my name is yanika and one of the questions i've been getting a lot is how do i afford to live out here it's so expensive how do you pay these high rent prices and so today i thought i would just let you guys know how much it costs to live out here and then i'll let you know how much i pay to live out here and to be honest i live on less than two thousand um of course i make more than that but that's what i actually live on and i'm gonna break it down on how i do that so to get started just remember that when you come out here your highest expense will be housing now i'm not going to talk too much about the houses out here because i cannot afford the houses out here i was looking at houses and they're about six hundred thousand like for just an average basic house it's like six hundred thousand dollars like a two bedroom and you're paying like six hundred thousand dollars like in a decent or okay area and to me it's kind of ridiculous but you know hopefully one of these days I can afford to get one um, so I'll just talk on apartments today and for studio apartments at minimum you'll be paying at least fourteen hundred dollars at minimum and that's in like maybe a okay ish sketchy ish area on average I'd say studios are like sixteen hundred um, for one bedrooms, on average, I would say eighteen, nineteen hundred. You could find sixteen hundred dollar one bedrooms, but like I said, it may not be in the most ideal area. Um, two bedrooms, I'd say twenty two hundred and up in like decent areas. Um, could find lower in more okay areas and far as the areas that are more, more expensive or least expensive like Inglewood, Koreatown, Van Nuys, Long Beach, um, Burbank type areas those areas are like on the cheaper side the more affordable side but like places like Santa Monica you're gonna be paying at least two thousand twenty five hundred for even like a studio <laughs> West Hollywood expensive all those beachy towns are super expensive in my opinion and I guess you're paying to live on the beach so what a lot of people end up doing is getting roommates so if you get like a $2,200 two bedroom and you get a roommate, you split that. So you each pay $1,100 and then you split the utilities and everything else that comes with the apartment. What some people actually do to get really creative and a lot of actors I've seen do this is that they will rent like a really large three bedroom and it will be like a $3,000 three bedroom or something. And then they'll each, you have, I say you have six people living there. So two people to a room. So they're living dorm style. And then they each pay like $500. It may be more than $3,000 and they each pay like $600. And you know, that that's pretty affordable in my opinion if you're willing to live that way like you have to be willing to get creative with your living situation if you don't make a lot of money out here um you have to get creative and that's what most people end up doing some people also rent out living rooms so someone may have like a one bedroom apartment it's like sixteen hundred dollars and then what they'll do is they'll section off part of their living room they'll turn it into a room and then they might charge six hundred dollars for someone to live in that living room and so they share the bathroom or whatever and the kitchen area and then that person lives in the living room and again that wouldn't ideally be for me but if you know you're on limited funds out here and you want to rent out a living room or you're okay like sharing a room with someone you could find something for five six hundred dollars but like if you want your own room out here you're gonna be paying at least i'd say the lowest i've seen people pay for 
like a okay apartment is like eight hundred dollars to rent like a room so your next largest expense is going to be transportation for me i take the buses and i uber um, but for some people of course or most people i should say they take they drive and then um for gas out here i think it's like 340 or something right now but normally it's like 390 range so it's like close to four dollars for gas out here typically but right now i think because gas prices everywhere are lower it's like in the lower threes like the 330 340 um which is still in my opinion pretty pricey for gas um, as far as car insurance, most people that I know pay around the 130 to 150 range. But, you know, it just really depends on your driving record, your um, age and gender. So for public transit, in my opinion, the public transit here is pretty cheap. Um, when you first come out here, you want to get one of these cards, which is um, it's a tap card. And um, it's the tr basically the transpass here, and you can use it all over LA, even here in Culver City, in um, Inglewood, or wherever else you can use it all over. And it's like two dollars. I got it like my second day here. Um, but a single pass is like a single fare is like a dollar seventy five, and then you get to transfer for free if you use one of these. If you use cash. You're going to have to pay $1.75 on every single bus you go on. But if you use this card, you get to transfer buses for free. But if you transfer like from like LA to like Culver City buses, then it'll be like $0.40. Cents. Um, and I know that because that's what I do sometimes. Weekly passes are like $25. And then monthly passes are a hundred dollars which again in my opinion that's pretty cheap it's pretty much similar to Philly but in Philly a single fare is like two dollars and fifty cents um, but out here it's a dollar seventy five as far as uber like I'll say uber is uh, this is the cheapest I've seen uber of all the cities I've been to and all the cities I've lived in uber is the cheapest here like a 15 minute drive cost me about six bucks six to seven bucks and um i always use the express pool and what the express pool is is that you might have to walk a block to go catch your uber um versus the regular pool will pick you up from your destination and then you have the regular uber which is normally double the price of the express pool which is why i take the express pool because i'm paying like six dollars for a 15 minute drive or 15 to 20 minute drive versus uh, $12 for the regular pool. As far as food prices, to be honest, it's pretty much the same as Philly um, or Florida, which I've also lived. To me, food prices are the same. Um, the problem out here is the sales tax. The sales tax is more than 9% and a lot of places I've been, the sales tax there is like 9.5%. So imagine buy like a $100 item and you have to pay $109.50 because of the 9.5% sales tax. I mean, I think 9.5% is a little bit ridiculous, but again, this is LA, so you're going to expect these taxes, okay? Um, the other thing you should know about taxes is that California does have a state tax. I mean, there's no local tax in LA or anything, but California itself has a sales tax. And I think if you make over like 52000 you go in the 9.3% tax bracket, um, which that's not what you actually get taxed. Um, that's just the, the bracket that you're in. Um, I think I get taxed maybe 5% or 6% is my effective tax rate or something. But I'm also used to that because in Philly, there is a local tax and then there's a state tax and the total for that is like 7%. So I was already used to being taxed extra outside of the federal tax and FICA tax. So if you're coming from a state like Texas or Florida, I would run those calculations just to see how much you'll get taken out for state tax because 
if you don't run those calculations and you come out here thinking oh you're gonna be getting a certain amount after taxes you'll be real shocked and surprised when they take they take a large little chunk out of my paycheck okay just for state taxes now the one good thing i will say about california is the minimum wage right now the currently the minimum wage is 1325 for businesses that have 26 or more employees so large businesses and it's 12 dollars for businesses with 25 or less employees which is small businesses and i think in july it's gonna increase to like 1425 for large business and 1325 for small business so if you work a job where it's like minimum wage um, in another state, that same minimum wage job out here starting July of this year will be like $14.25 or $13.25 depending if you're working for a large business or a small business. And then also it's going to increase next year to like $15 statewide, I believe. So you know if you work one of those minimum wage type jobs and you think you can survive on minimum wage then california might be the place for you so what you've all been waiting for is how do i live on less than two thousand dollars a month i do make more than two thousand dollars a month after taxes um but like when i was in philly i was only making like a little bit over 2000 a month after taxes so the income that i was making in philly i could actually survive out here on that but i would not be able to like save much of anything um i wouldn't really be able to save any money but um out here i'm able to survive and save and thrive a little bit um so how do i do that so for starters i rent a private room private bathroom so i pay 11.50 for that and that includes all of my utilities i don't have to go and pay utilities separate so my gas electric internet cable everything is included in that one flat rate that i have to pay every month and my lease is like month to month which is perfect i also pay phone bills so i'm on a plan with like two other people and I pay like 30 bucks per month for my phone bill and I get unlimited so that's actually not bad um, my food expenses are about $200 a month um, and that's just for eating in like cooked food and snacks and stuff like that I pay like I budget around 200 a month my transportation because I don't have a car I don't have to pay insurance or gas so the only thing I pay for is um, put 80 bucks per month on my top card and then I pay anywhere from 100 to like 120 for like Uber per month and that costs me about $200. I only typically take the bus to like work or like if I'm running to the mall really quick, I don't really take the bus. Like if I'm going out, of course I'm not gonna be taking the bus. So I do Uber out here. I could probably lower my transportation expenses if I decided not to Uber, but I don't have a car, so I have to Uber, okay? So the only other thing I have to pay out here is um, for food and entertainment. And by food, I mean eating out. And you know, when you're out here, you're going to want to enjoy yourself. Right now, I try to budget around $300 per month for entertainment. Um, so that's pretty much how I'm able to stay under $2,000 living expenses. I rent a private room. I don't, I don't have a car. And then I also, you know, I limit my entertainment budget. Um, which $300 is not really a lot, to be honest, for entertainment out here because it's stuff going on all the time. And if you are one of those people who go out a lot, um, you know, it, it can add up. But I've, all, I've limited myself to going out like once every weekend. Um, I do eat out sometimes, so I, you know, I have to deal with that, but... 
The only other thing I have to pay for outside of that, which is not included in living expenses, is really just my student loans. I don't have credit card debt or anything, so I just have my student loan, which I'm working to pay off. So after I pay that, I'm still able to save one paycheck per month, and I get paid weekly, so I think that's pretty good, and you know, if... If, if you can do that, then you, you can survive out here, I, I think. You can survive, and I feel like, in a sense, I'm kind of thriving because I'm able to save a paycheck every month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please drop any questions you may have about this video in the comments or any question you have about LA. Feel free to drop it in the comments. Um, Remember to like and subscribe because I will start uploading two videos each week now. Um, I'm trying to work out my schedule because it's kind of hectic at work right now because we're about to start going through the audit and then we are going through a month and close. So work is getting pretty hectic but I promise to start trying to like upload two videos per week um that way you guys can get more content and you know let me know if there's anything in particular you want me to make a video about and i will add it to my list of things to make videos on so thank you guys so much and i'll see you in my next